mixed kinematics problems. With any two of these equations, and sometimes you only need one, any kinematics problem with constant acceleration can be solved. Example one, a car which is traveling at a velocity of 1.6 meters per second undergoes an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second squared over a distance of 40 meters. How fast is it going after that acceleration? What would be the best equation to find the velocity of the car? The answer will be on the next slide. We have no time in this problem, so if there's no time, go right to kinematics equation three. So here's our initial velocity, here's our acceleration, here's our final distance, and we say the initial distance is zero. So here's third kinematics. First simplify the equation by zeroing out any terms, and that's x zero, that's equal to zero, so we right away get rid of that. We have v squared is your initial velocity squared plus two ax. Take the square root of both sides to find your equation for your final velocity here. Then substitute in all the givens, do the multiplication and the addition, take the square root, again, take the square root, don't forget that, and you get 9.9 .9 meters per second. Second example, an object is traveling at a constant velocity of 2.5 meters per second when it experiences a constant acceleration of 0.5 meters per second squared for a time of 30 seconds. What will its velocity be after that acceleration? What would be the best equation to find the velocity of the object? We list our givens. Here's our initial velocity, here's our acceleration, and here's the time of the acceleration. Based on that, kinematics equation one is the best match for the given variables. So we substitute in initial velocity, acceleration, time, carry out the math, and get 17.5 meters per second. An object is moving with an initial velocity of 4.5 meters per second. It is subject to a constant acceleration of 0.6 meters per second squared for a time of 10 seconds. How far, or what is its displacement, during the time of its acceleration? So which one of these would be the best equation to find the displacement of the object? We need to find the displacement, right? And the displacement is going to be final position minus initial position. So just to do a shortcut here, we assume that x0 is equal to 0, and we have that over here. So really, we're finding x. And that equation would be the third, six, excuse me, the second kinematics equation, where you have a function of time, initial velocity, initial position, and acceleration. So the first thing you do is simplify the equation x0 is equal to 0, so you drop it out. So x, which is going to represent your displacement, is v0t plus 1 half at squared. We plug in our variables, and notice you have a 10 seconds over here all by itself. Over here, you're squaring the 10 seconds. A very common error is to forget to square this value, so please don't make that. And you carry out the math, you get 75 meters.